hey guys and welcome back to another video hope you are all okay on that side of the screen now this is a follow-up video on the macbook pro early 2015 13 inch retina display and on this video we are going to check the video editing and motion graphics capability of this particular machine here now as i said on a previous video and if you haven't watched the unboxing and some tests with bootcamp and uh, geekbench and speed tests and all of that i will post a link here so you can check the previous video um, but i would would like to point out as i said on the previous video that this machine will not be replacing any of the machines that i've got available to me this this will be just to add portability to me and at the end of the video I'll explain a little bit better if you want to hear that out so let's go to the first screen and what you can see here is the uh, a list of machines that uh, will be used to compare with this machine over here so as you can see this this keynote has a list of machines right over here and the macbook pro 13 inch 2015 i5 2.7 8 gigabytes of ram with the year 6100 is now included so this keynote is something that i use uh, and I update as soon as I have a new machine to test out or if a friend of mine has a machine I'm, I'm curious to know uh, how that machine performs I do update here always with the same tests so this um, screen here will be useful for you if on the middle of the video you want to check um, the specs of a particular machine you can just go back to this one here and you will have that so that being said no intro i will leave the intro for the end because this will be a live video no cuts no editing here let's go for the first screen which is adobe premiere rendering times and as you can see on the test that i did uh, perform this is a 10 minutes uh, quick time h264 file and no effects at all just place it on the timeline and then rendering it the 13 inch macbook pro took 24 minutes to render this uh, 10 minutes file and as we are uh, talking about portability here i will mostly talk about the retina macbook pro 15 inch with the gtx 750 this is the model the late 2014 model so we will not be talking about desktops here just portability and as you can see the retina macbook pro 15 inch takes roughly half the time of the 13 inch let's go for the next screen and in here you can see that the same file 10 minutes quicktime h264 i did apply curves fast color correction and sharpen and there is a big or a huge <laughs> difference in time so the same 10 minutes with these three effects took 90 minutes to render on this machine which in my opinion is not good at all uh, but that's just my opinion now if we compare it to the um, retina macbook pro late 2014 15 inch with the gtx 750 it takes 11 minutes and 58 so a few more seconds and this is due specially for the gtx 750 with CUDA cores that will help to um, render this file um, so this is something to consider if you are getting a portable machine to render adobe premiere uh, or to render videos in adobe premiere now let's go for the next test and in here we have final cut pro 10 rendering time so the same file on quicktime h264 with no effects at all on final cut pro 10 on this particular machine the retina macbook pro early 2015 13 inch takes 3 minutes and 14 um, seconds to render and if we compare it to the gtx the retina macbook pro with the gtx 750 it takes 2 minutes and 18 so in here uh, not a huge difference if you ask me can i work with final cut pro on this machine yes you can if you have uh, simple videos to edit family videos or videos to to post post on your youtube channel or whatever you do with your videos uh, definitely this machine will be able to handle that and this test is showing exactly that so let's move on to final cut pro 10 but now with some effects and the effects um, are color correction curves and sharpen the same although on final cut pro 10 uh, the names might be a little bit different so the file was um, exactly the same with these effects and on the early 2015 retina macbook pro 13 inch we took 16 minutes and two uh, and 20 seconds comparing with the retina macbook pro 15 inch once again 
takes two minutes and 27 and once again as i was saying this is due to the uh, gpu of course the cpu is a quad core with eight threads so um, a big difference here and but if if we analyze just this machine 16 minutes to render a 10 minutes file is not that bad if you have the time if you are not delivering this to clients if it's just for yourself you will be fine doing that um, even if you do a 30 minutes video and you take one hour and something to render not a huge uh, problem there so this is something that you have to consider depending on your needs now let's move on to after effects rendering times which is the software that i spend about 80 percent of my time and in here what i did is as usual uh, rendered one of my templates which is the dramatic film strip photos template uh, was created by me in 2013 if i'm not wrong uh, it was not one of the most successful ones but nonetheless it's very heavy it's up as about and by the way i'm going to post a uh, a small preview here it has about um, 10 compositions each composition has about 20 30 layers each uh, and with motion blur with um, a lot of effects so it's a bit heavy and as we can see here the retina, retina macbook pro 13 inch 2015 takes 48 minutes which is not bad i was expecting uh, more on this machine it's not the perfect situation as you can see by the graphic but uh, is not that bad for after effects so what i can say here on after effects is that if you have um, if you are working with simple projects or if you are uh, looking to customize templates that are already uh, built ready to use all you have to do is change the text and change the photos and then render them out this will definitely handle that not the best solution as you saw on the screen but um, if you are using it once a month or twice a month and you are not delivering anything to the clients then I think you will be okay and you will be able to work with it so once again there's the graphic you can uh, check the time and compare it with the retina macbook pro which takes uh, roughly 30 minutes uh, so once again almost um, <clears throat> sorry almost half here now let's move on to after effects ray tracing and this is a, a test that will allow us to see if our machine is capable of working with uh, ray tracing or not and right out of the bat no computer with no dedicated uh, gpu will handle this uh, especially if the gpu has no CUDA cores enabled and that's only on nvidia cards i haven't had the chance to test this uh, benchmark with any amd so i cannot compare it but with CUDA cores we can see here that the retina macbook pro with the irish uh, 6100 the imac with the irish pro um, the Mac Mini with the Intel H uh, D4000, if I'm not wrong, uh, all of them I posted here 180 minutes, but they took much, much longer. I didn't even finish one of uh, these tests here because it was showing 180 and left about two hours to, to render. And to be honest, I didn't even test on this one because uh, the result is, is obvious. Didn't waste time there but we what we can see is that the retina macbook pro 15 inch it can handle this test and if you search google for this test teddy gauge benchmark iscsx you will be able to find it you can download it and test on the machine that you have on the moment so you can have an idea if you can work with ray tracing or not if you don't know what ray tracing is just browse around on google and you can find what it is now by the way the machine that i'm working um, to do this is is the one on the bottom is my i7 4770k my desktop uh, windows machine so let's move on to motion 5 rendering times and in here i've got the photo slideshow template which i, I also will post on screen so you can take um, a look and this particular template has two minutes and six uh, of duration uh, no special effects at all just a simple animation transitions of photos and i placed on the on the keynote no motion blur because motion blur on motion 5 really pushes the gpu as we will see on the next screen so what i can say here is that the retina macbook pro 13 inch took 7 minutes and 43 uh, seconds to render this template which is 
uh, an acceptable time and if we compare it with the Retina MacBook Pro uh, it takes 4 minutes just with the Irish Pro and with the GTX 750 enabled takes 3 minutes and 35 so a big big half of the time there once again um, but this machine for simple projects in Apple Motion 5 and that's what I want to focus here is total, uh, totally capable sorry, of rendering those projects simple projects with no motion blur and no special effects and, and no generators that will complicate the scene it will be capable of working for that now let's go for the Motion 5 rendering times uh, and in here I've got the fight, uh, photo slideshow 2 I forgot to post the 2 here template um, and I'll post a little preview here uh, it has 1 minute and, and 53 uh, of duration and it has motion blur and a few other effects and this means that it will push the GPU a lot so if we look at the graph what we can see is that the retina macbook pro takes 100 minutes almost two hours to render one minute and 53 um, of animation so this is not the machine for that so if you are looking for a machine capable of rendering motion 5 uh, complex uh, animations or templates or whatever you want to call them then this is not the machine for that if we compare it with the retina macbook pro with the gtx 750 we can see that it takes 21 minutes to render um, this template which is a more acceptable acceptable time and on this graphic here we have the imac 27 i7 with the 780m which is uh, doing 12 minutes in and 50 seconds and the iMac the new Retina iMac 27 i7 with the 295x which which takes 8 minutes and 44 seconds so these are the the numbers that uh, um, I do and I even have here the new Mac Pro <coughs> sorry with <coughs> sorry about that <laughs> with the dual D564 gigs of RAM which costs uh, sorry which takes 6 minutes but costs a lot more that was uh, what I was trying to um, achieve so what I'm using at the moment to render these templates for my clients is my Akintosh I'm not a fan of Akintosh as uh, probably most of you know and I've shared this on uh, some videos but this is a temporary solution so I can get uh, the machine that I want I just didn't get the the iMac uh, retina because AMD I was a bit scared and I'm watching so probably in a revision too I will see what I get so getting back to the topic as you can see 100 minutes is not acceptable if you want to do uh, this I would advise uh, the retina MacBook Pro 15 inch um, to do that and that is it guys so we take a bit longer than I was expecting but hopefully this video will help you to decide if this machine will handle what you are trying to achieve or not now let me explain or let me share with you why I bought this one and how I'm gonna use it so as most of you know I do After Effects templates and Apple Motion 5 templates and some Cinema 4D templates and I do have uh, a few customers I'm, I'm not say a lot but I do have a few customers and I do get a lot of support tickets and those support tickets are with a lot of questions it depends but I'm gonna give you an example let's say that's a client asks me hey Robert um, how do I change this or how do I change that besides the tutorial that I have included in all my templates there are questions that sometimes I don't remember when I do it when I'm doing the video tutorial so it's a fair question for my clients I, I want to add this and you didn't explain that on the tutorial and instead of writing uh, what I do is I answer in a video so I record the screen teaching teaching or explaining the client hey you go here and here and press this and this and this and that will be it so it's easy for me it's easy for the client and the process is much faster so what I do what I use for that is ScreenFlow uh, I open After Effects or I open uh, Motion 5 and I explain what I have to explain and then upload the video to the client and that is it so my answers are all made in video instead of writing uh, I'm gonna give you a simple example let's say that you buy one of my templates and you don't know how to add audio to your After Effects template because you have never worked with After Effects before I do not include that on my video tutorials because it's it's a basic thing but um, it's uh, 
normal that some clients don't uh, know how to do. So I just record a video explaining, hey, do you drag the soundtrack here and then press here, add to the render queue, choose the format, blah, 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 and that will be it. So this is why I have this machine, of course, besides browsing um, and all that. If I only needed Windows for After Effects, I would consider a Windows laptop. I would have to see what's on the market. Right now, I'm a bit uh, off <laughs> what is on the market on this price range, but definitely there, there will be uh, laptops that are uh, more powerful than this for After Effects and for Adobe Premiere. Uh, nonetheless, I do need for Motion 5. So, in my particular case, I can record these videos on Motion 5 or After Effects and use Final Cut Pro just for a small edit, record them and send to the clients when I'm not on the office. Because if I'm here, I will record on my um, desktop and that will be it. So this is just for portability. That's my reason to, or that was my reason to get it. And I'm totally happy with it. So my suggestion here, before we go to another video, but which I will do a conclusion, but my uh, suggestion here is, um, check out what you are going to do with the machine to see if it's going to fit your needs or not. So in my particular case it fits on yours, only you can uh, tell. But anyway, if you have any questions besides all this that, that I've showed on this video and it's getting long, uh, just write down below in the comment section and I'll get to you as, back, as fast as I can and as best as I can. And that is it. My name is Roberto George and I'll see you on the next one.